Moving into our first topic of the day, which is going to be 203K loans. I just want to bring to everybody's attention that two weeks ago on the show, we talked about a, a loan program. Uh, I guess we called it SCAFA for short. Yep. Is that what we called? Another acronym was SCHFA, if uh-huh. I'm not mistaken, and that was Southern California Housing Finance Agency. Finance Agency. Yeah. And we're talking about how cool it was, and it was like three and a quarter percent, blah, blah, blah. And and, uh, the mortgage mistress over there said, well, you better hurry because this sucker's not going to last very long. So what's the – It's out. Thank you. It's out. 35 days, the count and out. Yep. So if you didn't tap tap your funds, if you didn't tap tap. I didn't tap done. tap my scuffle. Yep, you didn't tap tap it. It's out. So after thirty five <laughs> days, they ran out of funds. My mother always told me never to do that. Yep. So, so gone. Gone. Money's gone. Now that's what I'm talking about. You got to listen to the show every week, right? And you better get on top of some of these things and, and talk to your peeps, talk to your lender, talk to your real estate agent. When we throw something out there and we say. Hey, you better get going. This thing we're not we're not messing around. That no, thing was no. gone in two weeks. Yeah, this is the second this is the second time it's it's been funded and exhausted this year. Yeah, and, and this year they didn't really find fund it too much. I think it was only twenty five million that they funded. The um, second time. Which yeah. which in housing terms, that's like a drop in the bucket. Yeah, it's a couple, right. couple yeah, that's of couch homes. change. Boom. Yeah. All right. So now we're gonna talk about a different loan. So everybody pay attention to this one. I'm not sure this one will be gone in, in two weeks, but this is 203K funding or 203K loans. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to throw it over to the two of you so you can handle this. But basically, this is a very cool loan that people need to listen to. Scott, you want to start or me? I got it. Sure. Got okay. it, yeah. You know, this is an incredibly relevant product in today's market because, you know, we talk about all the time. Mm-hmm. A lot of the properties that are available to buyers right now are either bank owned or short sales. And sometimes these properties require tens of thousands of dollars in repairs. And as buyers, you don't want to front that money. And as sellers, you don't want to be paying for those costs either. So what do you do? That's where 203K loan comes in. And if you were to break it down to its simplest form so that, you know, I like to I always like to say, you know, Talk to me like I'm a six-year-old mm. and tell me exactly what it is, why I need it, and how it benefits me. Yeah. It, uh, basically, a contractor will go through the house and uh, give you an estimate of what needs to be done in order to make the home lendable. Uh, that will be worked into the loan amount, and uh, and the contractor will be paid through the transaction. So essentially what you're doing is uh, – is you're purchasing a house that you can't get a loan on, but they're lending you the money to fix it up so that you can get a loan on it. You're ultimately financing the cost of repairs. The cost of repairs. Mm-hmm. Now, one of the challenges with that is, is as a buyer using a 203K loan, your competition are all cash investors because you've eliminated being able to, uh, to be able to get normal government or conventional financing on the loan because it's just not um, – it's it's not up to par. It's not a safe home. Well, I was in I was in a home um, a few weeks ago uh, that didn't have a kitchen in it. And I'm assuming that's the type that's of home of we're talking about. Yeah. You have to have a kitchen. Out, yeah. You have to have a, a a restroom or bathroom. Heating. You have to have heating. Okay, so you have to have in, flooring. In, a roof would be good to too. Have, a roof is always nice. Right. Yeah. Right. Excellent. <laughs> so yes. when you, I mean, it, we deal with some of the, we deal with more of these in the marketplace now than we have, uh, you know, in the past. But basically. There are things that make a home fundable and not fundable, and those are some of the obvious ones. It's it's health and safety is really what it is because the house is just collateral for the loan. So the bank is always assuming they're going to own it, and they have to resell it and get their money back. So if they're looking for health and safety issues is really is really what the inspections are all about and, and any orders to repair. So are they second loans or? No. No, no. It's It's one loan. Right. So ultimately what you're doing, let's just say, for example, you have homeowner, you know, Fred and Ethel, right? They see a house, <laughs> you know, say it's currently worth about 300000 but it's going to need about thirty k in repairs. After you do those repairs, let's say it's now would projected be valued at three fifty. Your 203K loan would be based off of that projected value of three fifty, And it's one loan, 30-year fixed rate. It could also be an adjustable, but generally speaking, today you do 30-year fixed. Awesome. Frank, quick, before we end the segment. I was just going to say, working on the other side, selling these properties that are what we consider uh, not inhabitable, uh, the banks are turning, or uh, the the trend now is to push more for the 203K owner-occupant buyer. So even though you are an owner-occupant buyer, you're not all cash, uh, you could very well get in by beating out a cash buyer by only a you know a couple grand. Where before, 
unless you were substantially over the list price, you know, they were going to go with the, the cash you know, king buyer, basically, because cash is easy, there's no loan, there's no worry, there's no funding, nothing like so that. So this is a viable tool, right? It now. is, absolutely. It's a, it, it's a viable as, tool. It's still a, it, it's still a little bit of a challenge as the banks mm-hmm. become more yes. comfortable with it because it's a longer pro- buying process. It's probably a 45 to 60 day process instead of the normal 30. So sometimes the sellers, if the banks are into it, though, they're smart because they're going to sell a home to somebody with financing for much more than an all cash yeah. investment. Well, a lot of the lenders are are really getting a flow for for the the, the loan. Mm-hmm. I've had one recently that uh, closed in under thirty days. You wow! Know. I mean, they oh, had re- oh, originally okay. requested wow. sixty, and we close in thirty. That's great news. The seller knows they made the right decision, and they're very happy. All right. Yeah. So here's what, here's what I'm going to say to the listeners today: is is get together with your um, real estate professional, your agent, your mortgage professional, and uh, learn a little bit more about these loans. Uh, not only are they, uh, you know, great to to have right now, but I think that we're all in agreement that as uh, this market continues as it is today, and it should for a few more years, um, they're going to play even a larger part. So, two hundred three k loans or two hundred three k funding. Make sure you talk to uh, your agent about that.